Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you an art journal page which I called Believe. So first of all, I'm using the Paper Artsy Stamps ETS05. I'm going to use my black archival ink to stamp the image. I'm now going to use my Squeeze Lemonade Distress Ink and my blending tool and I'm going to colour the whole page. I will just show you a little bit then I will skip to the end. I'm now going to use my Derwent Colour Soft Pencils to colour in my image. I'm just going to show you how I blend two colours together. So the first layer is going on quite heavy. That last little bit I just did, I did quite lightly so that it's not as dark. And I'm then going to go in with my second colour, go quite heavy on the edges. When I overlap onto the first colour, I can go heavy again on that. And that is one way to blend your two colours together. It will very much depend on the type of paper you use and I would advise you test it before doing your main project. I am now going to use my Zig 05 pen to make a border around my images. Now I tried quite a lot of different pens during this process but because of the type of paper the pens didn't seem to work very well it wasn't a solid line so you'll see me swap and change all different types of pens um, and not one of them is really working that well which is really surprising because they normally work really well on different projects as you can see the close-up the pen sort of like just wasn't making a straight line even though it's curved but I think you get what I mean so in the end I actually used a Beryl fine line black pen which is more like a felt tip that was the only one that seemed to work I've just used my Derwent colour soft pencils to colour in the border and I'm using a Tim Holtz um, stencil called dot fade with my sunflower archival ink and my blending tool just to add a bit more interest to the background I then use my Tiger Lily archival ink pad. And that is this page all finished. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.